I'm always looking for rare, strange old stuff. And I had a search alert on eBay that uh, a search I programmed many years ago and have never had a result on finally hit. And I just got it today. And I'm getting it out of the box. And this is it. Trying to do this one-handed because I'm holding the camera. I'll just let that box fall on the floor. The Oberhausen electric supercharger. I've never seen one before except on the internet. And an electric motor here. They say a Ford starter motor mounts here. And inside you can see there's a bevel gear that steps up the RPM. And three deuces get mounted there. I have no idea why that hole's been hogged out. And this mounts onto a single four barrel intake on the engine. It supposedly has a automatic internal bypass of some sort so that the fuel can still flow from the carburetors here into the uh, inlet manifold there when this thing isn't running because of course it's you know run by a starter motor it's not going to be operating full time. Oh, it does turn. It turns freely. And it coasts. That's a good sign. Well, now i got to figure out what uh, starter motor fits on there. Find one of those. And then I can get it mounted on an engine and go burn some serious rubber at the press of a button. Dragster it says. That's cool. I like that. Of course the Oberhausen supercharger is apart now because I take everything apart. That's kind of my trademark. So this is the main housing upside down and this plate goes on there to adapt it to a four barrel intake manifold. And it looks like there's two bolt holes that go through the top of the housing through two holes in the four barrel adapter plate and hold it to the four barrel intake manifold that's mounted on the engine so that's not a lot holding it on there just two but that's what it has and looking over here there's four ports through there that go from the chamber underneath the carburetors into the chamber that connects to the intake manifold. So those are the bypass holes. So when the supercharger isn't running, air fuel mixture from the carbs can still flow through into the intake manifold chamber. Now, what's to say when the blower is running, it's going to even accomplish anything other than run the air in a circle because it can go right back through these. Well, I think there's supposed to be some kind of a flapper there. Because there's some hole, little holes there. Like, maybe that's for mounting a frame or something with some kind of a one-way flapper valve made out of nitrile rubber or uh, maybe just a metal flapper or something. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Now I'm going to turn it over. It's not that heavy with the supercharger out of it. And so here's the top where 
the blower sits in there and blows through into the uh, that chamber there or that chamber there. No, it draws from here and blows into there. That's it. Now, looking at the impeller housing, there it is. There's the impeller. And you can see the bevel gear in there and the step up gear. I'm going to check the ratio on this. I've got it ever so gently clamped in a vise with some aluminum soft jaws just to hold it. Okay, so here we have a mark on the shaft and I got a mark on the impeller. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half turns. So six and a half to one gear ratio on the blower. I see that uh, this whole shaft has no thrust control whatsoever. So I'm gonna have to work out something like that once I get a bevel gear to go on the electric motor. I suppose the mesh of the gears will be adjusted by shims above and below this gear set up I would think so I got to find a matching bevel gear considering how few of these they made I doubt that they custom made their own gears they probably just bought a standard industrial gear so I'll check McMaster car and start looking for something to work for that and I got to figure out what starter I have saw a YouTube video on internet net with a car that said it had a 57 Ford starter mounted on their uh, dragster supercharger so here's the plan this is just just very vague just getting started looking underneath the impeller there's a hole in it and that lines up with a screw there kind of sorta a screw there a screw there so that must take this housing apart take the impeller out so i can get at the gears and do whatever needs to be done in there okay so here's here's the plan or the dream at this point so get this thing all put together and working right. Uh, make a get an engine together for it. I've actually got a like a 1950 Lincoln 337 flathead V8 that I got some speed parts for. I might I might get that thing put together. Put this Obenhauser Oberhausen dragster electric blower on it and then dyno test it that would be cool and of course the dyno test will be here on youtube so if you uh, don't want to uh, check in every day to see when it's here just hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when it shows up because it's not something that's going to happen overnight but definitely uh, planning to do that. Okay, thanks for watching.